Hey guys, I'm playing in a scramble golf tournament tomorrow. Just want to share some tips for you, especially the beginners out there. It's all about having a good time and not to do with stress. So hope this helps you. This is Golf Essentials with Casey Bork. So I'm gearing up to play in a, a scramble tournament tomorrow and uh, just wanted to chat about that and maybe share some thoughts and some some advice on, uh, especially for beginners, on getting out there in a team environment, um, but even for better players, uh, maybe some strategies, but um, mostly for the beginners. I mean, I think the first thing to think about is this is a team game and you're, you're not going to fool anyone by acting as if you're the expert in the group. So um, I, would, I would suggest just embrace your role as the beginner. Um, don't, don't try to hide the fact that you hardly played any golf. They're going to be able to see it anyway. So just try your best to relax and understand that in scrambles, so basically how a scramble works is you're all going to tee off and you're only going to take the best shot and everybody else picks up their ball and goes to where the best shot was. Therefore, all of the crappy shots don't matter. So if you hit a crappy shot off the tee, who cares? Pick up your ball and go to where the guy, whoever or gal who bombed it down the middle, go play from there. Um, to be honest, as a beginner, nobody's going to expect you to do much off the tee and hitting the big long balls. They might, uh, you, the, the place where you have a real chance to succeed is, is on the putting green, you know, chipping and putting. Maybe, uh, maybe you, you, you snake one in the hole and everybody high fives you and you're the hero and I think if you've got good people around you, they're going to support you with that. So when you arrive to the golf course, I would, I would focus disproportionately on the short game if you're a beginner. I would go hit a few putts, hit a few chip shots, just to get a little feel. You can go whack a few balls, but I can tell you as a beginner, and you probably have some more experienced players on your team, don't worry about that end of the game too much. While you're out there, you, you'll probably collect a few tips and you should be able to, to, to improve as the day goes on. But focus on the short game. Go hit some putts and maybe if you can snake in a 20-footer or something and you're going to just have a blast if you can do that once or twice and feel like you're contributing to the team. That's really the low-hanging fruit for a beginner to be able to contribute, which makes it a lot more fun. Um, as far as uh, equipment... Bring a, and feel out the group, right? It's different if it's a bunch of beginners. Uh, I mean, a bunch of business people. You know, maybe it's a bunch of work colleagues. Or if you're going there, like I am tomorrow, with a few college buddies, and it's going to be really laid back, and we'll probably drink some beer and goof off, and it's going to be really fun. So, you know, you can bring some fun things. Some people, I mean, I'm not, I'm not condoning the drinking thing, but, you know, you could bring a little flask with some, something in it that you could add to a Coke or whatever. Um, you, you could then be the hero to the team in a different way. Bring some extra balls. You know, who cares if you whack a few in the woods? You don't want to spend all day looking for, you know, $4 golf balls. If it's a scramble, grab some cheap balls so you can pound them. And if they go in the water or you take risks and try to hit shots that you normally would, just bring some crappy balls that you don't mind losing. As far as golf clubs go, the 14 club rule, normally you're only allowed to carry 14 clubs, that doesn't apply in scrambles. So bring three drivers, bring four putters, bring a bunch of wedges, bring all the hybrids and things that you think you're going to need. Who cares, right? Fill your bag up with sticks that you think you can hit any shot with, and that way you don't have any gaps. So you normally can't do that, but in a scramble, again, typical rules don't apply. Bring a bunch of clubs, and you know you can uh, you can always feel comfortable. You don't have any half shots, or you don't sit there thinking, "Oh man, I wish I had my five wood," because you know you can just put it in your bag. So the biggest thing I would say is is just know your role. If you're around um, business folks, I would I would shy away from just talking shop all day. The reason that you guys are out there is to have fun and not to talk about the next business deal or um, you know the stresses at work. Everybody's trying to leave that behind, uh, so don't be the one that introduces that consistently. 
maybe uh, maybe it's a better way if you're playing with colleagues to to get to know them outside of the work environment. And I think that'll prove to be more valuable uh, in terms of building relationships and uh, you know moving your career forward that way. Even if you're playing with prospective clients, you could you could broach the subject, but leave it at that. You know, um, you know, you could touch on it. You can let them bring it up. You want to really slow play that. You've got five hours throughout the day, and if somebody mentions something, mention something casual, but you don't want to get into any deep, detailed business discussions because that's not why you're out there. So, bottom line, guys, make it fun. Know your role, and if you just own up to being a beginner or you haven't played in two years, just own up to it. It's going to be a lot easier, a lot less stress than trying to pretend you're the hero and the rock star, you know. And um, so know know the people you're with and make it fun. If you're a beginner, I think that the low-hanging fruit is in the short game where you can contribute, make a few putts, make a few chips, or bring along something fun. Put something in the bag, snacks or drinks, and something that you can contribute to everybody's enjoyment and having a great time out there. So wish me luck. I'm playing with some old buddies. Uh, We won the tournament last year, so we're looking forward to defending our title. And uh, I'll be sure to let you know how it goes. Thanks, guys. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to the Golf Essentials podcast, it'd be super cool if you did. If you really like the stuff, please share it with your buddies. I would really, really appreciate it. Thanks, guys.